Um, it was 100 number 11 ovens all at once. I'll never forget it. All right, let's move on to our preschool winner for the parent recommendation in this year's uh, 2020, 2021 Autism Live Toy and Gift Guide. It is from Picasso Olds, and it is a gift pack of, a really generous gift pack of their Picasso tiles uh, for building and sculpting. Uh, you know, my son was a little bit older than for the Picasso tiles, so I wasn't as familiar with them until a couple of years ago. But boy, I, I was in a room where we set Picasso tiles down and everybody came over and played with these beautiful, beautiful, they're building blocks, but they look like stained glass. Uh, have you guys had the opportunity to play with Picasso tiles? No, I've never seen them, but they look incredibly colorful and fantastic. I got to say, this is something that my son would have liked. I got to say, I think it's something he'd still like. We put this uh -huh. down in a room full of people that included, you know, babies, adults, uh, teenagers, everybody. These are great in a doctor's office because there aren't many things that are one size fits all, but everyone, all our adult volunteers at this event sat down and played with these toys. Vince, you probably have seen these before. Yeah, and they're great. I mean, and again, going back to what we were saying about the, uh, the the baby and toddler toys, these are very visually stimulating. They're actually very tactile stimulating too, because like you said, they're smooth. They look like stained glass. Some of them have different textures on them, and it gives them a good opportunity to to create. Right, this is kind of like your building blocks where doesn't matter what they're doing they can put them together make designs make different color patterns in a, a socially appropriate way right uh, our kids oftentimes like to make patterns like to do things but they might not be socially appropriate this is a way to channel that desire to make patterns to make different designs in a way that's not only uh, sensory stimulating for them but in a way that's fun and, and uh, you know colorful at the same time and Kira, I see all the comments that you're making. I, I so I so love everything that you're saying here. I want to say too that connects. Um, you know, like any other building toy, um, you know, it has a way that it goes together. But for some of the toys, like Duplos, you're working on you know some of the push and pull because there's a little bit of a energy thing that it takes for them to go together. And then when you get to Legos, it's that much more. And sometimes you have to use the little Lego separator to get them pulled apart. One of the things that we love about Picasso tiles is the entry point is very wide open. They, they uh, I don't know whether it's magnetic technology, but they, you just put them close to each other and they connect. And then you can pull them apart with very little force and they come apart. So it makes it very easy if you have somebody who's struggling with fine motor issues. It's not going to work on building the muscles, but they'll still get the reinforcer of being able to build. Because sometimes we don't we want to get out of the way of that. Other times you want to work on it, but we really like the Picasso tiles. Thanks for watching Autism Live. If you found anything helpful in this video, please give us a like. In fact, make sure that you smash that subscribe button on YouTube and give us a like on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram for important updates. And please download our free podcast wherever you get your podcasts. See you next time. Until then, give your kiddos a hug from me and one for you too. Bye-bye for now. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.